chat. So we got that going. And we should be coming in live. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Nice. Let me load this up. And we got this guy going. Sweet. And we can just small window that guy. And we've got the top and the bottom bar set up. Nice. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the live stream. Today, today is March 19th, 2021. And we're doing a comic book live stream, but we haven't done one of these before because we're gonna try to grade some comic books. Okay, now I'm not a professional grader. I've been a collector for 30 years, I guess, 30 plus years now, 30 plus years now. And uh, I have a handful of comic books um, and I have, most of my comic books are raw. Okay, not graded. Okay. And we have, uh, I have like a one box of CGC, uh, CBSC, uh, sort of graded comic books. And um, I've shown a lot of my collection or some of my collection over the years that we've been making videos. And we've done some comic book readings. All the comic books in this pile over here, we've read. Okay. And we'll go through those and more. We've read a lot more. Okay. Actually, one of the comic books here we've read as well <laughs> and uh, we've never done a grading comic book uh, a specific video for grading we have done the gradings estimated the grades of the comics that we've read okay but we've never specifically done a grading comic book uh, live stream and because I'm not a professional grader I was hesitant to do this but I did a little research and I have done a little research over the years and cracked open a couple of websites four websites actually for us to go through and just get an idea of how to go about this okay uh good afternoon crack how are you doing dragons dragons hello hello hope you guys are doing well uh so our attempt in this live stream is just to go through the process and talk about sort of what it means to grade a comic book uh, link up some sources that we can go to we can use and uh, really appreciate that grading is uh, can vary grading a comic book can vary okay depending on who's grading it the variation is plus or minus probably about 0.5 so there could be a one grade difference between collectors and professional graders and stuff that are grading it could be more than that if depending on who the buyers are and who the sellers are Cheryl how are you doing oh god I always wanted to get my top five graded at least the ones which haven't been already yeah uh, you know what I've been meaning to and I checked out some of the prices yesterday and they haven't gone down since last time I checked them because I've never sent a comic book to be graded and I was thinking about sending it myself uh, to be graded but man the costs are insane um, so my local comic shop where I pick up comic books where I get my weekly pull list they sort of put packages together and send a whole bunch of comic books to be graded and then they come back and they give them to whoever the people were that sent the comic books to be graded and whatnot right hopefully it's all legit it should be all legit right I'm just hesitant to have third parties go through the process when you can do it directly but one of the reasons for third parties is I guess reduces the cost um, so it's here neither here nor there I don't I don't know how what I'm gonna do uh, right now uh, I was thinking about doing some of the grading because I want to sell some of the comic books generate some funds to do other things uh, especially related to to what we're doing right now creating content and stuff like this um so i'll think about this but right now what we'll do is just go through the grading process and i'll link up some of the sources uh, that we have uh birdie here i wonder if anyone has sent in a book to be graded and it came back damaged 
Uh, I've never seen that. I, we sent in. Oh, I'll give you guys the lowdown. By the way, here, let me. How long are we in? Are we given enough people, we've only given people about five minutes <laughs> to to jump into the stream. So maybe we'll give people a little bit longer for notifications to go out uh, if people are going to be jumping in. But uh, take a look at this thing, right? I got two piles here. Okay. This pile here is comic books we've read. We read Sandman number eight. Okay. So this is the comic book we actually read. This is the first appearance of death. So I was thinking about sending this in to be graded. And we looked at this specific one when we made that video, the reading com um, comic book video. Felix, how are you doing? What's up? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Right. We read Tales of Horror. Okay. So I've, gr uh, I've grabbed some stuff that is very high grade and we're going all the way down to like two. Right. So I've grabbed things that are extremely high grade all the way to the low grade right and we should have mid grade here as well so we've already read this one tales of horror we've read web of mystery so that's tales of horror number 10 this is web of mystery number 10 we've read this one as well these are the specific comics we've read this is headline comics number 27 and we recently read this one this one was uh uh jack kirby and uh, joe schuster i believe if i recall correctly right and it's a pretty good copy it's a mid-grade copy lower mid-grade copy what did we grade this at oh i wouldn't we didn't put the grade on it um so maybe get this one graded as well right captain Durr, how are you doing welcome welcome i really uh, i was really hoping for chicho in white guy <laughs> brother i was gonna get, get white gloves I seriously was going to get white gloves, but then I watched some videos and one of the ones that most people send their comic books to which is CGC in their video. And I watched their video of how they grade and it's, it's basically what you do, but they didn't really go through the tick marks of what kicks things up to a certain thing. So it's arbitrary, it's not arbitrary, but it's subjective. What's the word subjective or objective subjective subject, object, object, related to the object, subjective. It really depends on the on the grader right so they didn't go through the okay it's got five little ticks on the spine that brings it down 0.25 points subjective okay subjective so it was very subjective right i was looking for something that says okay th there are some which is like if it's more than a two inch tear it you know it kicks it down to this and whatnot and i have a ruler here as well right that i brought out with a protractor thing but in that video the guy mentioned that's a cgc grader putting out a video under the umbrella of cgc it was a cgc uh youtube channel right he said their graders don't use gloves right and i was like well, really um okay no gloves it is right uh we just recently read this one we didn't get to see what happens to superman kitty cat and uh this is first appearance silver age appearance of catwoman and we just read this one yesterday superman 37 i'm 100 well not 100 99 sure that i'm going to be sending this book to be graded so i want to start off with this book and it's a mid-grade book to take a look at the grading of it okay horse horse oh one hey chicho and everyone hello hello welcome to our live stream Dirt flug what's your first name horse Calagulas. Calagulas. Calagulas horse is that a type of horse <laughs> no, i'm brutalizing it dirt flug i use the overstreet uh, guy to grading comics as a baseline i wish more people would use it there are some shops out there uh, with off the wall grading standards yeah really i didn't open up the overstreet one you know what i should open up the overstreet one let me go in here i'm gonna grab the overstreet one as well because that's a great suggestion by the way uh dirt flug half red half red indeed oh yeah so should we slab it decentralized grading decentralized grading really <laughs> birdie here welcome welcome uh based off roman emperor Caligula, oh Caligula, Caligula's horse, ah Caligula horse, awesome. Have you seen the movie? I saw the movie, pretty trippy, with uh, Peter O'Toole. Curb Tim, how are you doing? 
he treated his horse better than his people huh okay good to know let me open up over street sorry gang if you want to over street uh, grading scale let's put the scale on there and see what happens see if it grabs it over street grading definitions and terms let's check it out Ba -ba -da -da -da. oh my god so much writing yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll open this one too it's just it's crazy the grading comic books what a trip what a trip right what a trip uh he gave his horse a position in the senate did he give his horse a position in the senate are you serious elder god no way no way and check this out these are some of the ones that uh, well, this one is part of our, this is first appearance of Gambit, right? X-Men 266. And we're going to read this one, you know, if we get a chance to grade it. I doubt it. I think the best we're going to do is probably just look at one book or two book, two books in this stream and see how we go about it, right? But we're going to be reading this one. And I wouldn't mind, uh, I got a couple of extra copies of this one. So I wouldn't mind sending one of them to be graded so I can sell. We've already read... Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 361, right? So we've read an Amazing Spider-Man 361. It's the first full appearance of Carnage, right? And I've already sold two on eBay, right? But the prices of these have gone up through the roof, especially 9.8 graded and 9.6 graded, right? Like 9.8 of this goes for over $1,000 now, right? 9.6 is going for well over 300 now, right? 300 if not more okay so i wouldn't mind sending one of these books to be graded there's two we've we've read this story i don't know if we've read one of these ones or a previous one that i have right and i grabbed both these copies because one of these books the cover is cut off center right it's not centered so when you're buying on ebay there are some people that say oh uh you know the cover is not centered so you can get it cheaper right the reason i'm pointing this out is the following Woo made another comic show nice pope grimy how are you doing elder god wait a minute was this read on youtube upload for sure we've read uh an amazing spider-man 361 100 uh, percent elder god right it's one of the most popular comic book readings that we've done right so here's two other copies that i have and we already sold two on ebay and one of the ones that we sold on ebay and they both went for a hundred and uh, above 150 160 something like that's 180 okay canadian now one of the ones that we sold we sold it to one of the people that was coming here before mark metals i believe right and he was gracious enough to buy it and then send it in to be cgc graded and then he sent it back to me as a gift right huge kudos respect right this book that we sold that got graded got sent back to us as a gift is the first book that i've ever had in my possession that has been graded by a grading company okay uh, horse yeah haha i got the name from the band that caligula's horse they're australian progressive metal band and they're absolutely phenomenal really it was really sunny where i was today felix says I can see a summer with stuff. Yeah, summer time. Uh, Dirt Flug. Amazing Spider-Man 361 is currently enjoying movie hype, speculation price hike. Yeah. Now, I don't know if we can get, you know, we might just sell these raw, right? But here's the thing. The two Amazing Spider-Man 361s that we sold, I graded them at 9.4, right? In the eBay listing, I said, as far as I'm concerned, it's a 9.4, right? Now, Mark bought it, sent it, got it graded sent it back to us and the grade came back as 9.6 right so 9.6 graded it came back to us now take a look at this thing now one of the reasons i graded graded the one this one and the other one i can't remember why i said 9.4 but i'm assuming i said 9.4 because it had the marvel check this out i don't know if you can see it on the back of it there's the marvel cutting when they were cutting it you would get little holes in there there's two holes that came up it was just through the printing 
process, right? So I said, okay, that would make it a 9.4 or, and the comic being off center. So this thing was graded 9.6, but the comic book was off center, right? And that's the reason I grabbed both these copies because this one, the comic book is off center and it's not even as off center as the one that came back as 9.6. Take a look, right? Here, let me take it out of the bag. So the reason I'm pointing this out is it appears like, according to CGC, comic book being off center doesn't affect the grade, right? As much as we thought anyway. So take a look at this thing. This one is 9.6 graded and this one we haven't graded yet, right? And it's off center towards the bottom, right? As opposed to this one, which is, take a look, might as well put them back to back, right? right. I actually have my magnifying lens here too. So that's three levels of cutting the comic book right, from the printers that came centered, little off centered, a lot off centered. And the lot off centered comes back as 9.6. Okay. So good to note, I always thought being cut off center really affected the grade. Okay. But I guess not as much. I'm actually putting my comics and mylar while watching the show nice i got some mylar check this out i got some mylar here as well <laughs> because if we take any of the ones that aren't in mylar um i might want to put them in mylar well i do want to put them in mylar right i only own one uh spider-man comic and it's uh 2000 ah, uh, spider-man uh, 2099 one haha <laughs> nice now these are three of the ones that we haven't read but i wouldn't mind getting graded and sold right so this is the first full appearance of uh null the symbiote god and it's a beautiful cover by the way and this is fetching a heavy price and new mutants number 98 right i think this is one of the better copies that i have right um so it'd be nice to get this graded and sold and this is uh teen titans number 12 the first appearance of batman who laughs right that's where i am in terms of me wanting to get books graded uh, but i think what we should do is look at the superman and look at the pages that i have that the websites so we can get an idea of what's what it takes to grade a comic book and it's crazy craziness i got a little pen and notepad here too right and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on Sensor 2, right? There, as long as it's a better movie than Venom, haha, <laughs> Elder God. <laughs> yeah, currently pricing is purely spec speculative. If the movie uh, stinks, prices will tank. Uh, possibly, Dirt Flug. Uh, have, did you, has anybody ever seen the first Spider Man movie? Oh my God, what a horrendous thing that was from the 1970s, right? like seriously what was that right i got dressed up in pajamas so and amazing fantasy number one uh sorry number 15 it fetches a pretty heavy price right same with amazing spider-man i'm not spider-man but uh carnage is an awesome character right i'm going through a collection right now as well helping a friend of the family sell them lots of fun books oh dude that should be super fun crack that would be super fun how much is it is it to grade a grading the grading varies here you know what let's let's kick it up okay gang i'm gonna make this view disappear i'm gonna bring on my desktop okay so let me bring on my desktop no oh, that's sorry so here is um i specifically looked at uh comic book uh, certification 
services for the prices and you can go here where did I go oh my signature pricing events um, submit call oh, where's a grading uh, da, 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 pricing there it was okay so grading pricing check take a look at this thing all right let me bring out the chat so I actually see the chat as well Chicho I love that movie which one the Venom movie no oh, the first the first Spider-Man movie hilarious brother awesome <laughs> too funny too funny uh, let me make sure this chat is sitting nicely in our um oh how come the chat is not showing oh it should be i think there's a delay maybe that's interesting are we still oh i gotta what am i doing i gotta look here not there do I no it should be appearing here how come the chat's not showing up for me to see that's weird I don't see my chat box on the side here um, where the pen is which it should be appearing there because I have it up but it is what it is right let me see how I got these laid out the chat box is further up yeah the OBS or OBS uh, glitch okay uh, so it is what it is but the chat is popping up uh, down here so in the bottom right so that's okay uh, but wait a second why isn't the desktop am I showing the desktop oh I haven't turned on the desktop yet what am I doing display capture there we are Here's the display capture. I'm going to show you guys the display capture, okay? I won't be able to see uh, the chat, unfortunately, which is very weird. Or actually, I'm going to do the chat here. Oh, because the display wasn't set up, that's why. So the chat should be popping up. There is the chat. Nice. Let me adjust this accordingly. That's why. It wasn't an OBS glitch, it was a Chicho glitch. Right? So, bum, bum, bum. No, we want both. So here's the prices. Okay. Oh, I don't want that one. I want the chat. So here's the prices from uh, comic book uh, certification uh, services, right? Modern book is $16 per book, which is not bad, right? But then you got to do all the shipping, right? And then they go they go into the cost right so sixteen dollars per book for members eighteen dollars for non-members valued up to two hundred fifty dollars right and then you have twenty seven dollars for values up to two hundred seven was a faster expanded uh, so nineteen seventy five to present pre nineteen seventy five let me close this one up any years thirty dollars uh, prepay uh, rapid any year $81 per book if you're selling, selling heavy books you want to flip them speedy gonzalez style uh, and then it had you know two percent market value original art they have and then they had the shipping prices down here da, 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 da. they had pressing uh quick stream rapids oh where's the shipping stuff maybe i went to a different page it was a cgc that i was looking at uh, where's the CGC CGC submit services and fees right so $20 right and this is just straight up to CGC or um, comic book uh, um, certification company right but then there's all the shipping costs right uh, customer uh, bulk and this is the bulk one this is economy standard error uh, da, 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 da. so these are magazine prices right what's this one concert posters lobby cards I'm sorry if I'm skimming going through this fast and we're gonna go all the way to the top Boop. but it was this one I was looking at um, but for some reason I can't find the shipping now the shipping has to be certified there's got to be insurance associated with it uh, 
seriously it's not here why not grading prices future crime pricing oh this i swear this is where we are let's see yeah this is where we are anyway that's what the pricing was it just seemed expensive to me say no to pgx say no to pgx that's the other grading company and you don't want to grade through them uh, thank god i thought you meant the uh film from oh 2002 no 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 2002 was good the 1970s one. Oh my god you can see it on screen say no to uh hello chicho how you been doing good marco how are you doing uh, Cheryl, my uh, my favorite still are the Spider-Man shirts they showed on the Electric God, ah, the Electric Company. Oh my God, that's such a great show! The Electric God. Uh, anyone want to join me and jump in the W A B A C and check it out? W A B A C. I don't know what that is. Shorts, not shirts. Oh, shorts. The Spider-Man actor in the 1970s had balls climbing on walls without special effects. <laughs> I feel like I have I have to watch the 70s film just to just for the girls yeah I haven't seen it forever man so I hope you're uh, searching on DuckDuckGo oh indeed slick Mick indeed DuckDuckGo is the way to go right DuckDuckGo DuckDuckGo don't don't use sensor tube sensor tube horrendous horrendous and look let's go through the grading stuff I mean this is more of a discussion on grading than anything right now uh they are the worst grading server worst grading service crack honestly if you can find someone local uh that has a cgc account and does mass submissions it's the easiest way to go save so much hassle yeah that's what i ended up uh realizing crack i was looking at the stuff i'm like going man the shipping cost like basically for us to send a book directly to get graded through either cgc or cbsc would be minimum absolute minimum fifty dollars canadian right uh, more right uh like sixty dollars canadian which is like damn uh might as well just add that to the cost of just buying a comic book right <laughs> there are cgc graded and cbsc graded comic books you can buy for less than that right and the comics included <laughs> you're guaranteed a grade right wabak uh peabody and sherman's wayback machines oh peabody and sherman's wayback machine never heard of that the dolphin a eh, gang how were you doing dolphin what's your most valuable comic what's my most valuable comic i don't know my most valuable comic uh would it be new mutants no uh, no 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 it, it, you actually it'll probably be daredevil number one it'll, it'll be most likely daredevil number one but in terms of monetary value right for me the graded comic book i have of mystic number no. five with uh, basil wolverton reading basil wolverton that's the first comic book we read that's graded at five or six is more valuable than uh, personally anyway than daredevil number no. one pgx customers have gotten their books back in worse condition and smelling like cat piss what cgc i think is the best company but cb uh cs is uh is good as well yeah cbcs uh cbcs or cbsc i think cbsc isn't it oh no cbcs man these acronyms i wish they chose a better acronym <laughs> easier right but this company is really good right um people are paying a premium price for cgc graded right which is one reason why I believe sellers are getting them CGC graded because they're getting a premium price for them. But uh, for me, if I was looking for the quality of the comic, I was looking to get a better deal. I would I look for CBCS, Comic Book uh, Certification Services. Is that what it stands for? Comic Book Certification Services. Okay, let's do an about. Where is there about? Let's make sure we got this right. Uh, and this guy, I believe, used to work for CGC. He was one of the founding members of CGC. 
oh man how come they don't have the uh, the acronym <laughs> name <laughs> unbelievable comic book come on it's got to be comic book uh, certification services someone will know better than me right someone will know better than me let's go back to the grading okay i like their grading page by the way i'll show you cgc's um, i pay 60 dollars canadian that covers a pressing as well fluctuates a bit depending on what year value of book so are you sending it to crack are you sending it to cgc or are you sending it to uh cbcs 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 uh dirt flood chicho i bundle grading submissions to save on shipping but make sure they're in the same uh, grading tier also i only use my uh, my own grading company account so that the so that i can track the submission progress yeah that's one thing i would love to do so you sent to cgc so 60 dollars canadian to send to C, uh, cgc yeah it would be worth it for amazing spider-man 361 right uh, maybe for venom number three the null the first null appearance i'm torn man I really i'm really torn uh, torn um, to do this because that's 60 dollars i could spend to buy comic books right but for me i want to you know one of the reasons i want to sell is to is first of all to see if we're grading things correctly and the other one the other reason is i want to uh i want to sell to generate some funds to do some other things right i i just wish they had an office here i'd be willing to pay 60 dollars if they just had an office here you could go drop it off and pick it up like a week later and you get it right that would be amazing that would be amazing i have two comics i would pay full service to get them done hell i would walk them in the door ah oh, elder god i wish i could walk them in the door i wish i could walk them in the door right so gang let me take this down let's go through grading this thing now what we're going to do is take a look at the uh, okay what we're going to do we're going to estimate the grade on this a ballpark it basically the way i would go about it and then we're going to look at the grading pages to see what they would say right so we'll go back and forth between looking at this comic as well as looking at, on the websites okay crack i think the key is uh, what you bought it for and what you graded graded can sell for my first graded book i spent roughly hundred dollars total price of book price of book plus grading i sold it recently for 400 canadian okay and that's a 400 percent return right 300 percent return sorry right which is pretty good right programming agreed these days i only use cbcs for the signature verification service their grading is on par with cgc though their grading is 100 percent on par with cgc there's no doubt about it in my mind right so it's just the name brand right uh and because more people have cgc they do searches under cgc more people grade in cgc so it's a self-fulfilling prophecy but i think over time we're going to see a lot more um cbcs one of the reasons i i was definitely leaning towards sending them directly to see cbcs is because cbcs let me turn on my display capture here cbcs uh, da, 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 da. up here i hope that shows up yeah up top here that you're seeing they got a canadian cbcs canada right so you can send it directly to winnipeg right and then they send it to i guess new york to get graded and then it comes back uh convention center in new york winnipeg right so adjust grading and return shipping uh simplify submission process 
uh, simple as drop and go, fast and accurate turnaround times, eight weeks max, designated Canadian customer service staff, right? So in that regard, it makes it a hell of a lot simpler for Canadians to do it uh, through CBCS, okay? Right on the money, Derp says. Shout out to Winnipeg. Shout out to Winnipeg. So, gang, let's crack this open. Okay. Now, what I do when I'm... And, gang, I am not a professional grader. I am not a professional grader. As you can tell, I was selling amazing Spider-Man 361s that were supposed to be graded at 9.6. I was selling them at, um, graded as 9.4, right? No big deal because, to me, I graded as 9.4. I would buy it as 9.4 I would sell it as 9.4 right Cheryl Chicho I know you have addressed this but aside from the obvious value of independent uh, evaluation is there a reason someone would have a comic graded if they are not looking to sell uh, preservation Cheryl preservation right uh, so it for preservation purposes for sure getting it graded not a bad idea not a bad idea most expensive but of a uh, comic chicho buy most expensive buy most expensive buy i've done elder god in terms of comic books is that what you're asking buy of a comic oh yeah you are most expensive not but but buy of a comic yes <laughs> that was throwing me out most expensive but of a co of a comic book from chicho mm, the one we saw yesterday in my comic book hall uh shaban noir number one <laughs> lots of butts in there <laughs> play in the market as well play in the market as well indeed all right so it's like any trading but preservation for sure mine is 9k elder god you pay 9k my most expensive buy of a comic book was daredevil number one and i bought it like six years ago graded at 5.0 now i don't know if it's a 5.0 for me it was a 5.0 i agreed with the seller right uh graded a 5.0 and i paid uh about 400 canadian for it right now that book is probably selling around 2000 if not more you pay nine thousand for a book. What book? Elder God, hoping the book gets hot. Hoping the book gets hot. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, gang, it's a legit thing to do, right? A lot of people frown on. Oh, they're speculators. They're this. Sure, there are speculators that enter any market that don't give a rat's ass about the market, and what they end up doing is they buy and flip. They try to flip, buy, flip, buy, flip, buy, flip, buy, flip, right? And then the one, when the market dies down, they move on. They're like day traders, right? That's a way to make money if you want to make money or gamble if you want to think about it that way, right? There are comic book collectors that realize there's a hot comic book out and they end up buying a comic book. And if it doesn't go up in value, whatever, they bought a hot comic book because the risk they took, that's okay, right? It, it might not go up for the longest time. Like, for example, look. Amazing Spider-Man 366, when it first came out, right? There was copies on the shelves for days. It didn't sell out, right? Same with New Mutants, number 98, right? Now, Amazing Spider-Man 361 and New Mutants, number 98, for 10 years, you could have bought them for like $10, right? Really, they were cheap right and then slowly the prices kicked up amazing spider-man 361 i wish i brought off some of the other ones we bought we bought the first appearance of uh, cletus cassidy carnage the first host to be occupied by the carnage symbiote right we bought that comic i believe for a dollar like three years ago from a comic book hall that was graded like nine or something like that that book is now I don't know forty dollars right now that's a legit thing to do so don't be afraid to if you think a comic book is a good investment to buy additional copies don't go crazy because you might be wrong 
to buy it that, and I've done that I've gone crazy on certain comic books that have been wrong right just because I got caught up in the hype right but it's okay to buy additional copies like we already sold two I already sold two here's two more and I have some additional copies right because when this thing came out I read the story and it was amazing I love this character it's a unique character in the Marvel Universe and I've mentioned this before it's the closest character to the Joker from the Marvel Universe is Marvel Universe's Joker really but uh, to a degree a more vicious one okay so that's just one thing I want to clear up uh, it's okay to buy additional copies and then you can get some graded and sold for me I want to get this graded because it's the amazing it's the Superman comic It's the lowest Superman comic I have and I ended up paying and this is probably one of the second one of the few highest prices comics I bought I ended up paying two hundred dollars for this Canadian right nothing wrong with uh, speculating but damn you've got to know your stuff you've got to know your stuff right and sometimes you'll you'll be wrong right elder god it's a number one issue that's all I can say uh, emotion and profit don't work well together and yeah they don't well work well together okay in terms of grading okay gang what I do when I first pick up a book I take a look at it in the bag okay bag and board if it's in a bag and board if not you buy it off the racks you buy it off the racks you pick it up you look at it when I pull my weekly pull list when I grab my comic books I don't really check every book to see if they're good grades like it's just comics that I'm buying I always compare carnage to the Joker as well yeah it is 100% right so when I pick up a book right away what I do I estimate where the grade of this book is going to be right so when I would pick up this book and we took a look at this right because we read it yesterday I'd pick up this book I say okay this is a mid-grade comic book right so if it's a mid-grade comic book let's go back to our website our capture oops our uh, display capture right so let's bring up the display capture let's close this up now take a look at this thing here's a, here's a site that I use gang comic comics price guide I use the site a lot to price comic books to search for comic books and I use my comic shop a lot now I've never bought any books from my comic shop okay but I really appreciate their website okay and people they've been around for a long time and people like them they may be a little bit on the expensive side but they provide good service and they do you know you can save on pre-orders here and uh, you know they do consignments and stuff like that right and what they have here they got the list of 10 grading points right 10 grading uh, scale and the basic gradings is you know these guys right here you know near mint mint verify and all that jazz but this is the one I go to right the number scale from 10 right with gem a mint all the way down to a pour and then below this is no grade if it's not complete or not complete okay and if you go down here they got a little write-up for what each one of these grades would be considered right so if we're looking at a comic book and we're saying okay it's mid-grade I would just hop down straight to the mid-grade section which is really when I'm talking mid-grade I'm I'm talking about you know five to seven so very good fine to let's say fine five to six would be the mid-grade area right and then as you can tell here's here's the overstreet uh, grading definition I didn't come to this one of the reasons was is because they have huge write-ups here like this is not easy to go through look I mean look at this thing right it's just a wall of text coming at you saying okay nearly perfect so 9.2 nearly perfect with only a minor addition defect or defects that keep it from near mint a limited number of minor binary printing defects are allowed a light barely uh, noticeable water stain or slight foxing that does not defect from the beauty of the book is acceptable see I wouldn't if there's foxing I wouldn't put it in the 9.2 category but overstreet saying they would 
So, okay, that's good to know. So if you want to really delve deep into grading, this is something that you have to do to a certain degree. After 30 years of crack, uh, collecting, I've never really gone beyond my own grading style and knowing that certain defects are, okay, they're not the best things to have, right? Crack, I'm finding the new books in this a collection for my my own collection I'm finding a few books in this collection for my own collection nice I now have a copy of Harley Quinn's first appearance very nice it's one I'll be sending in for grading yeah Batman Adventures number 12 man uh, crack I was pulling Batman Adventures number 12 or Batman Adventures, so I have number one all the way to number six but I was moving cities at that time so I stopped my pull list so I missed the uh, Batman uh, adventures number 12 right I missed Batman adventures number 12 so this is CGC graded by the way gang let me give you all these website links in the chat so here's CGC okay there's CGC here is my comic shop and I'll provide these links in the description of this video uh, once we upload this to sensor to Bitchute and rumble there's my comic shop here is CBCS okay CBCS brutal chicho similar story for me was buying it regular and then dropped off yeah <laughs> it sucks <laughs> it sucks uh, crazy 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 here is uh, my comic uh, a comics price guide okay comics price guide Boop. and then here is here's a artful investment the uh, uh, educating collectors by buying and selling rare coins tokens metals uh currency and comic books right so th th this is something that just came through as well and they have you know they have a whole write-up here and then they get into you know mint what that means near mint and it wasn't bad actually when i went through this so i have pictures so this was not bad either right so there are a lot of independent sites out there that actually uh provide grading guides and whatnot because that's their business okay chicho is 1960s comics graded at six 1960s comics graded at six nine thousand uh, dollars i would say it's either um, if you paid for it a while ago it's uh, uh spider-man number one or fantastic four number one or uh, amazing fantasy number 15 yes it would have to be it would have to be nine grand if it's graded at six if you said it was nine grand and graded at eight i would say daredevil number one um, oh 1990s no you said 1960s okay she chose 1960s is it 1960s or 1990s yeah congrats amazing fantasy 15 so take a look at this thing let's go through mid grade of this right so if we're going through mid grade here is the description here let's go to this this first let's go to comic price guide first let's read their mid grade description and here's the mid grade description now unfortunately you don't put five in there I would put five in there too but they're not right uh, well they're going very good grades fine grades oh they're de defining it as this so let's read the fine grade stuff okay in uh comics price guide and then here let's see what CG cgc's is ridiculous by the way oh here cgc's i couldn't find a better thing for this cgc's descriptions are these and an above average collectible with a minor with a major defect uh so for example for 6.5 right an above average uh, collectible with a major defect and some smaller defects or a significant accumulation of small defects right you know six 
a slightly above average collectible with a major defect and some smaller defects or a significant accumulation. So the CG's this description of their grading is not the best. I'm, I'm thinking they probably have another page where they have more description on this, but I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. Sounds like politics. Wait a second. Oh, you bought it in the 90s for six. Oh, you bought it in the 1990s for uh, for nine grand is greater six. I would say uh, amazing fantasy number 15. Yeah, that's what I would say. That's what I would say, Elder God. Here is these uh, CBCS. If we go down, here's the fine grades again. So everybody's breaking it down based on fine or very good, right? Because if you look at it, very good minus is 3.5. Very good is 4. Very good plus is 4.5. And very good fine is 5. And then it gets into the fine grades, right? For me, this is going to be, as we talked about, right? We graded this thing as basically 5 to 5.5, and that's the grade I bought. Here, here, let me take down my, I forgot about this. Let me take down my display capture. Okay. Let me bring up my chat again. Right? No, it's not Amazing Fantasy number. Graded at 6. 1960, so uh, Fantastic Four, number one. Fantastic Four, number one. Okay, that's what I would say. Good. Look in Discord real quick and tell me what you think. Ah, uh, Graham, how are you doing? So take a look at this thing. We bought this comic. We paid $200 for it, Canadian. So at the time, the exchange rate was $140 US. I paid... I, I paid 140 US, let's say 150 US, 200 dollars Canadian for 5 to 5.5 grade, right? So very good, fine to fine minus. Okay, that's what those it would be. So it's right on the border. If we turn on the display capture again, right on the boundary of very good, fine to fine minus. Okay. So let's read the description for from CBCS. What they say qualifies as in the fine category. And then we'll read the description for the very good category and see where this thing may lie. Uh, and we'll and then we'll crack it open, take a look at it, right? So this comic, let me turn on the chat. So just in case I miss anything, looks like someone wants a vacation to me. Someone wants a vacation. Is it from the one of the big two, Elder God? Is it from one of the big two? I don't know what that means. Oh, the Elder God's probably talking with Graham. So let's take a look. Let's read this thing. Okay. This comic is definitely red copy with hanging, uh, handling wear, but can still be a very desirable copy okay this could have one major defect like a large piece out of the cover a long a long tear or a detached uh centerfold okay so that's important to keep in mind right there this could have one major defect like a large piece out of the cover which this doesn't cool uh a long tear or a detached centerfold okay it has stress lines on the spine and creases from the opening and closing of the cover. This could have a light reading or subscription crease or a rolled spine, but is not damaged enough to reduce eye appeal, eye appeal dramatically. Okay. So, so far, this one, we looked at yesterday already, we know that uh, the Superman number 37 doesn't have any of these listed so far okay some cover uh, cover 
uh, discoloration, fading in color, and so, uh, soiling is allowed. So this is a little faded, so that's okay. There's stain, not stain, but sort of shadow mark on top. Here, let me show you this. Actually, let me turn off the display. We'll take a look at this so, so far. I'm going to take it out of the cover, by the way. I'm going to take this out of the cover. Let's do that. Just sort of go on. Suicidal line. If it's uh, what I think it is, I'd say wait an hour or two for weigh-in. Let's put this tape here. Boop. Let's take this off. All right. So let's take a look at this. All right. So take a look. You look at it like this to see if there's spine roll. All right. So is there spiral there? Mm, little bit, little bit, right? Here, right? Just a teeny bit, but not really, right? Take a look. Okay, so let's take a look at this thing in detail. Should we bring out the magnifying lens? Let's bring out the magnifying lens. Might as well see if this is gonna help us to take a look at Look at this more closely and help it stay in focus right so that's not bad right we could turn on a light too but i think natural light is better yeah natural light is so much better than seeing what the defects and stuff are hulk elder god is hulk So here's the spine. Right. And the person we bought this from right he's a comic book he owns a comic book company he's a local guy and he's been in the business for like 40 years right So the corners are pretty good. There's no chunks missing from this at all, from what we've seen so far, right? right. This is the sort of a discoloration that we see here that goes all the way across, right? Face. That would be, I'm guessing it was sitting there and it got some sun on it or something. And if we flip this, right? There's no restoration that we could see, right? There's definitely break in the in here. Right, you can take a look at it. Right. This part here, right? Then you can see over here, right? So, those are the types of things that this book has, right? There's this, which is sort of a crease, right? 
and then you could flip on the back and we saw this yesterday there's a little bit of tearing here right when we did the read right that's the bottom left corner on the back which is this here right And then if we go and one thing you want to do is you want to do a page count right so this is supposed to be a 52 page this 52 page magazine right so let's do a page count on this make sure all the pages are there right so one two now i'm assuming they want they say pages it means leaf i always forget about it but it's it means one on this side and two on this side i believe right but we'll count the number of pages and then we'll multiply by two right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four right 24 25 i guess the cover right so i'm not sure if i don't think there's anything missing here so that's 24 24 times 2 is uh 48 and if you count the covers that would be 52 is that the way we do it chicho down the color on the inside is made yeah it's a good book like initially I was um, I personally think this is a 6.5 to my eye. yeah you know what it, initially I was like okay this is a 5 5.5 but it's solid right now let's take a look let's go to the center right Where's the center fold? You can tell the center fold when you go in the middle, but I don't want to go directly from the middle. Let's see. Oh, it's over here. It's over here. It's over here. Where is this? We should have just hit it up when we hit the center and took a look at it. Uh, the misalignment of the covers, bottom right corner, and the back covers, bottom right corner, and the staples on the onto kind of leads me to believe this is had more spine roll, and someone reflattened it. But I don't really know. I don't know. I verify gold in each count with this ah dirt flag you can't provide links to flag. you got to put it in our uh, discord page only me and mods are allowed to provide links in uh, in the chat on twitch okay i know in books the cover isn't usually a page but if there's the initial uh, strip on the inside of the first page who can tell yeah that's the kicker right so if we like one of the other things you could do here i'll show you another website i'll go to 
to confirm this. I usually, it's like for me, I, usually I don't buy any books that aren't uh, complete. So I usually check them. Doop. Let's see. Let me punch this in. Thirty-seven. Oh, it does it not have it? Oh, just because of copyright stuff, silly. Like this should be in the public domain by now, right? Like really, this should be in the public domain. I find it horrendous that it's not. So you would have to go to a site to download it. I can't find it on Comic Book Plus. Uh, very unfortunate. Uh, very unfortunate because that way you can just see all the pages you would know what it is right yeah it's not here very unfortunate very unfortunate let me see if superman number one is in here if superman one is there we might be able to find da, 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 da. Hmm. No. Nope, it's not there. Very unfortunate. This is the site that I use, by the way. Here, I'll link it up for you guys. Um, let's go to home. This is a great site. You, there's tons and tons of, um, what do you call it? Thousands of, well, hundred, well, lots of comic books you can read for free golden age comic books stuff that has come into the public domain i know in the books to cover yeah okay so take a look take a look at the centerfold right the staples are nicely intact let me turn on the lights on this right the staples are nicely intact right solid and we read this and we didn't see any of the anything missing from the inside because we read this story so we know that part of it is complete so we've already read all the way through past the centerfold and the story was complete here right and if it's complete here then we know it's complete on the flip side right if there's no tears and there wasn't any tears right So as Graham said, there might have been more role to this. And what could have happened as well, once this put gets put in a bag and board and stored, it presses itself slowly. This is to say the back, uh, the back of the cover. You can tell the back of the Yeah, I bought this assuming that it's complete. And I'm, the guy is pretty legit. So... 52 page magazine from the golden age advertising uh shenanigans right advertising shenanigans okay so that's what the book looks like and the other thing we want to really look at is the color of the pages right and there's a little bit of staining here right again it matches this thing here the fold here so the odds were take a look at this thing right the odds were and Graham I think you're right it has had a sort of a press something so this thing was rolled up and this part of it got ex exposed to the Sun you see that right take a look so this part got exposed to the Sun so this would also be considered Sun damage right right this would also cons be considered Sun damage now as far as the pages go they're not white they're off-white but usually if you have white pages and it's an older book you would go white to off-white if the inside in here is more white than the outside you see a little bit of halo of browning on the outside right not browning but just darker right like this color so this would I would say is off-white okay 
It could also be white to off white. All right, take a look. There's the minutest amount of foxing going on. Very, very little on certain places. Okay, foxing is sort of just like, let me find. Uh, like like yellow spots take a look see that that's like foxing a little bit of foxing okay but not much right so that's what we have right now with this book right now that we looked at it let's take a look at the descriptions of uh the websites what we were looking at right so let me turn on my display again let's bring out the website we were we were reading this right the cbcs so we went through the first three let's keep on reading to see what else is here some co cover this uh this discoloration fading in color and soiling is allowed so that this definitely has it right the cover and or inside pages could have some tears and or folds. There are some folds, right? Not much, but there are some. With the absence of any other defects, the cover can be detached from one staple, but cover cannot be completely detached from interior. The cover is fully attached here, okay? Books with slightly brittle pages cannot grade higher than 6.5 and generally are even lower in grade this these pages are not brittle just feeling them okay they don't fall apart if you bend them a little right so not brittle uh books with slightly brittle pages cannot be okay we read that uh pages and inside covers can be brownish but not brittle okay we're in the brownish category i guess Depending on, on the look of the comic, very small amount of tape could be acceptable in this grade. And there's no tape on this, right? So it fits this category and the range is from 7 to 5.5. So worst case scenario, this would be a 5.5. And as Elder God says, he would say possibly 6.5. Now let's read the description for the very good category right and this will give us an idea if this even belongs in a very good category or not if we have the right category which is the fine category okay so let's read the description for the very good category and that's the way you should go about this getting or that's the way i go about it if i'm really seriously into grading it right but i tend to put five in the mid grade i don't go sort of mid high is five or more i'm sort of mathematics if you're a five you round up you don't round down right so let's take a look at the very good category these books are complete but can have have major creases and a spine roll cover gloss can be very low or sometimes no gloss at all the inside paper quality can be low and small pieces of pages uh, may be missing books with brittle pages cannot grade higher than 3.5 and generally are even lower in grade books in this grade are almost always creased scuffed uh, abraded and soiled but readable a large amount of tape is also allowed in this grade once again cbcs does not recommend placing tape on a comic this is definitely right so according to these readings, right? According to these readings, what we just talked about, uh, this is not in the very good category. This would be in the fine category, right? Now the question is, is it a 5.5 fine or a seven fine? Now I wouldn't give this a seven, right? Would I give it a 6.5? Mm reading the description now i'm sort of going okay maybe this is a six right higher than a 5.5 initially i would have said a five now i'm thinking okay higher based on this reading however because we're new at this right let's read 
one of the other websites their description for it so let me turn on my display again let's look at the fine category on my comic shop okay so my comic shop says this I'm gonna leave chat chat off for now because the writing goes all the way across a comic in fine condition is considered above average but still displays somewhere in general the eye appeal is somewhat reduced due to either an accumulation of minor defects or one or two moderate defect acceptable defects on a fine copy include slight spine roll so there is a slight spine roll here a moderate accumulation of spine stress that may break color and we do have that right by the staples right a spine split of less than a uh, half an inch and we don't have any spine splits on here right like we looked at this there are no spine splits nope no spine splits okay minor water spoiling or residue there is no water spoiling on this residue less than the size of a dime in impacted corner and moderate foxing this has minor foxing at best right impacted corner the corners all seem to be around the same category but let's look read the very good description for this okay a comic in very good condition shows some significant wear but has not accumulated enough total defects to reduce eye appeal to the point that it is not a desirable copy a very good copy may have an accumulation of minor defects or two or one or two major ones acceptable defects on a very good copy include spine roll a, a half to one inch spine split or other tears a cover or centerfold that is detached at one staple discoloration due to oxidation and a moderate accumulation of water damage or staining so this is definitely not in the very good category so again based on this reading we're in the fine category but you know what let's read the very fine category the very fine category we got a very good copy has minor defects so very fine goes from 7.5 to 9 right and this book is definitely not 7.5 to 9 okay a very uh, fine copy has minor defects but is in overall excellent condition most well-kept modern comics especially if they have been read fall into this grade acceptable defects are very fine are minor uh, are minor and include minor corner wear a, a light accumulation of spine stress that may include color break a light accumulation of dents and bends or folds less than a quarter of an inch note that on a very fine copy some color break is allowed in a bend or a fold oh i didn't know that right so no just by the appeal just <laughs> reading this uh, i mean if you just read this you would say oh maybe this belongs in the very fine category but it doesn't right let's go to over here uh, now this one i mean this is the reason uh, if you go to overstreet right we're going from seven 5.5 to 7 and this is the write-up they have for 5.5 to 7 right we'd have to read all that just to narrow it down which we're not going to here's here's cgc here's their description an above average collectible with a minor defect or accumulation of small tears for a seven a, an above average collectible with a major defect and some small defects or a significant accumulation of small defects so these descriptions are very generic right and this is the one uh, did we read this one we read C we read the CBCS we didn't read uh, comics price guide did we this could have one major defect like a large piece out of the lower so that's where we are with the fine grades yeah 5.5 to 7 right 
pages in the side cover could be brown but not brittle yeah we read this one okay depending on the grade of the copy certain amounts of it uh, are available in this grade i.e a book that looks eight with a piece of tape on the interior cover is acceptable in this grade okay so if a comic book is looks like an eight but has a tape it kicks it down into a fine category okay gang so the question is what are we grading this at what are we grading this at right my g6 is about the same as yours chicho uh but with a damaged corner okay spine stress okay spine ticks spine ticks yeah and this one um did i bring a comic i must have a comic here that has more pronounced spine ticks dun, 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 dun. on modern comics the spine ticks are very you can see them really well right don't know I'm gonna crack open the Sandman Sandman number eight just to see if there has any spine ticks on it okay whoa oh I have the what you call it the magnifying lens here still come on I gotta remember to put the tape on these sideways it makes it so much easier to tear off where's my exacto knife this one reason I keep a sharp nail one long nail you can grab tapes like people keep on asking me Chicho how come you have this this nail right here right why do I have that because I can grab tape and pull it break it otherwise it's impossible <laughs> some people think it's for other purposes we know also hi <laughs> yoshi how are you doing <laughs> you should see it the comments on sensor tube oh my god chicho's gonna think we can know bro what's the starting bit on sandman um uh, i don't know i sold one of these i sold the sandman number eight for um last year for 40 dollars i believe right now it'd be going for a lot more so the person I think it was 40 or 60 dollars the person that bought that it was uh, it was a lady down in Texas I believe uh, she was a she was a fine lady she you know paid for it straight up sent it oh thank you very much for putting this up so I sent it and that was it right uh, but I think it's going for a lot more and that one I think I graded at 9.4 or 9.9.4 I think right fold over one end just a little bit for a tab to make it easier to peel off oh is that what you do crack i don't do that i just go i'm getting a uh, scratcher all right <laughs> grip the noise two number sixes and a three two number sixes and a three that's what i do uh cheryl oh that's what you do too you put a little fold on the tape okay i couldn't think of how to describe it without an essay so fold over one end just a little bit for a tap uh to make it easier to peel off okay let me see if there's any any uh, ticks on here and you can run your finger over it i'm looking for a tick come on give me a tick There's one. I was, I was. This is the first time a comic book collectors going, uh, like, going. Oh man, I, 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 I was hoping there would be a tick on here so we could see it. Let me see. Let me look at the natural lighting on here. There's no ticks on here. That's unfortunate. 
well fortunate but unfortunate i wanted to show you guys what a tick looks like on a modern comics is way more pronounced um so no ticks on this mr Sandman has a comic uh apparently he does he does he does multiple comics <laughs> multiple comics mr Sandman has is there more modern i do have more modern comics do we have any ticks on these i hope not let me see let me see if this amazing spider-man 266 has any ticks no no ticks on this either that's the reason i pulled them out i didn't i wanted them to be high grade to be graded right that looks like a very sharp book uh the teacher no ticks for miles <laughs> no ticks for miles <laughs> i was hoping that comic cover angry person would be here today oh, i know that's unfortunate and i and i mentioned it to my uh partner regarding uh Chavano, uh Chavano noir where the person said that you know it was uh what the, what did the guy say whatever it was and my partner was what that cover is empowering women not the what was the not diminishing what the uh, objectifying women or so she was like that that cover is empowering it's showing that women are going yes i am proud i am woman like it was amazing the way she said it right i was like oh damn you should have been on my live stream objectification yeah i was like she was like objectification is she crazy is the person crazy that's not objectification that's like empowering women that's saying look at me right it is what it is right it is what it is right makes you think about what information really is yeah there's a comic uh cover <laughs> yeah pope grimy uh do dreams reflect a will not just meaningless uh stimulation in the mind uh, i think dreams can be anything right i am proud i am woman i will kick your beep <laughs> indeed i can make up stuff look at gambit's stupid face yeah really oh look at like look at this oh look at gambit he's got his arm around storm oh what is he doing like what what so we couldn't find any ticks on any modern comics that we pulled here okay so gang i'm gonna talk to my comic book store okay we're gonna send this to be graded go gambit haha -ha. all the women i know are badass good good gang what do you guys say i i'm sticking with 5.5 on this right seriously i'm gonna go talk to my local comic shop i'm gonna ask them when they're sending in their next books to be graded and i'm gonna include this in okay playing heroes not very pc no um i'm saying 5.5 okay uh place your bets place your bets right and we'll get it back and we'll see and maybe that's the way we'll do it we'll just slowly grade things good choice chicho go for it i'm guessing a six you're guessing a six okay okay my fingers crossed crack is right oh my fingers crossed elder god's going 6.5 my my fing fingers crossed elder god is right <laughs> who's giving us a seven <laughs> who's giving us a seven i think it's a 6.5 pope grammy 6.5 okay 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 we got low grade 5.5 here we got a six and a 6.5 uh, yoshi says seven i'm with yoshi <laughs> it's a 6.9 <laughs> i love it so that's what that's one of the books we got right so we have a superman yeah seriously i gotta send this baby in i gotta send this baby in it's gotta go in right we'll make this one officially our first book that we send in to be graded right so graham what you were saying is cool actually just the offsetting of this what graham was mentioning is this because the cover 
the front cover and the back cover aren't lining up it's more uh, sort of a signature of this was rolled before and then it's been pressed and it's not sitting properly right the back is pulling out possibly possibly right possibly silver hands and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor tube crack great idea for a stream by the way good chat today everyone i have to walk away from comics now to go eat i'm uh, deep into a comic state of mind i bet you are <laughs> going through your friend's collection very nice very nice very nice very nice so gang should we take a look at one more book okay let's take a look at a modern day book just just because i might send that one in to be graded too so at least you know it'll if we end up selling it it'll pay for the cost of grading as well right so let's let's take a look at amazing spider-man number 361 okay let's bring this out all right and i'm going to bring out a mylar bag because i'm going to put this in mylar once we take a look at it and i got boards here as well okay so let's just take a i mean it's a complete book i know it's a complete book uh, I bought it off the racks and all we're gonna do is just look at the cover front and back covers okay <laughs> it's a beautiful book take a look here let me bring out up the magnifying lens that way we can take a look at it in detail right take a look so let's look at the spine first actually let's put this on it natural light oh Turn on the lights. A little bit of tick there. I don't even know if that would even bring it down. Like sharp, sharp comic. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Take a look, take a look. We found a defect. Yeah, we found a defect. Take a look. Take a look at this. Right there. Right. yeah take a look right there little small tear so that okay we kick it down to what gang that's unfortunate otherwise it looked beautiful look at that look at that right yeah it's not even a tear a oh, little bit of a tear right a little bit of a tear right so this I wouldn't send them to be graded even though it's looks great otherwise and here's the the Marvel the 
printing process so this doesn't matter this doesn't matter right because we had sent the comics that were less than this that were less than these ones that we already got back or we didn't send it back but someone sent it back we already got that back as a 9.6 <laughs> there's a kitty cats right we got it back as a 9.6 right so yeah what's up via that's via meowing right so aside from that this thing looks like a beautiful copy look at this thing look at this look at this look at this look at this look at that look at that So very unfortunate about this, but either way, we're going to put this into Mylar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack open the other, get that kitty some catnip, get that kitty some catnip. And I try to not handle my comics with my bare hands too much, right? So I use the bags and bores and I slip them in each other, right? So it's it's a better way to do things just to preserve right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack open Oop. grab another mylar bag and a board okay let's grab another mylar bag and a board and let's grab a board because we're going to look at the other amazing Spider-Man 361. That Bugs Bunny comic from 1980s you showed me really seem much newer. Yeah, the Bugs Bunny vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was beautifully, uh, like, it was a nice copy. A very nice copy. And we got an amazing deal on it. Crazy amazing deal. Let's crack open this one. Let's see what this will be like. Now, I don't even know if I would send in this one. I have uh, other copies of this, so I might grab a different one and uh, send that one in, right? Because this book is off center, right? Oh, here's a tick. There's a little ding there. Oh, we found a ding. We found a ding. I don't know if this is going to show up or not. Where is it? Where'd it go? So if we run our finger across. I swear there's a ding there. Yeah, there's a little bit there. See that? Right there. Okay. There's a minutest amount of color break. Very little. Okay. See that? So I wouldn't even send this in to be graded. Even though this would come back, probably... I would probably give this one a 9.2 just off this but according to cgc maybe this would be a 9.4 right very nice sharp actually this would probably be a 9.4 right very sharp right Should crack open in 1984. And the one we got back in 9.6, this the staples look the same as this. There's the ding right there, right? Okay, so this one, 
Maybe not. I'll look at a couple other ones. Maybe send those ones in to be graded. Um, and that's the kicker, right? Like the decisions you make. I'm, I was hoping that a convention was going to happen in town before all these lockdowns took place where I could take because CGC and CBCS sometimes or certain conventions they go to and what they end up doing is having a booth there where you can drop off your books for them to be graded right so that would have been fantastic to be able to do should we take a look at new mutants let's take a look at new mutants number 98 this I gotta change it's a golden age um, mylar because at the time I didn't have I ran out of uh, the Silver Age Mylars. Let's see what this one might be graded at. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's get our Mylar ready for this. Because I'm going to put this in a Silver Age Mylar. Okay. Let's get that ready. And let's take a look at this. And this is a beautiful copy. Take a look. Is even going to focus. There we go. So far, this is a minimum 9.6. Minimum. Right? No defects. Nothing yet. Sharp corners. Nicely cut. Ooh, don't want to lose it. Yeah. Good shave with that edge. Uh -huh. I think we're going to send this one in. Right? Punisher. Right? Not bad. Not bad at all. So. I was hoping the 361s would be like this. Right. Let's throw this in.
So there's two that we have that I'm okay with sending in to be graded. Okay. Uh, if they come back at a high grade, perfect. Perfect. Right? Yeah, it's a, it looked like a great copy. Like this, I would classify as 9.8, if not more. Right? But would I sell this as a 9.8 raw on eBay? Might as well get it graded, right? 9.8 goes for more than a thousand. So might as well throw that in there, right? And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on SensorTube. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look in my boxes. There's a couple more Amazing Spider-Man 361s that I know I have somewhere. And I'm going to look at those to see what grade those are. So we're going to send in New Mutants number 98. We're going to send in an Amazing Spider-Man 361. I've got to talk to my local comic shop. Uh, maybe they're not sending anything in right now. I don't know right because after looking at it i'm not going to send it myself it's just too much uh unless uh maybe i'll change my mind i'm not really sure <laughs> right and we're going to send in uh superman superman number 37 uh from golden age right and we'll see where it goes um aside from that gang i hope that helped out for anyone that's interested in grading uh sort of what you sort of have to go through and you're sort of like mm, you think it's this but it might be this right or vice versa right plus getting it graded people can't argue the grade when trying to sell it yeah and that's the thing right that's the thing uh the kicker is i've never sold anything uh over 200 dollars on ebay right so if something sells for a thousand dollars we had a the person that i buy off ebay in town that owns a comic shop store he mentioned that uh even when he put tracking on certain shipments when the comics got to the buyer they said there was no comic in there and he got burnt he didn't get paid for the comic book so i have no desire to have that experience happen to me uh i'd be very disappointed right uh i even got pissed off when someone tried to uh rip me off right when they bought a copy of venom number three with the first appearance of null right they scanned they, they were trying to pull a scam and ebay knew it right they knew that buyer was a scammer because they found in my favor just very quickly right after talking to them after i got someone online so and i'm sort of uh you know ebay's introduced all these taxes and stuff like this so centralized power is going after taxes so personally i would rather sell these books on a private level than going through an auction house because they take a cut there's problems associated with it and whatnot right using system is more official via the middleman i mean yeah more official indeed crazy crazy elder god crazy elder god gang i hope you enjoyed this live stream uh I found it informative personally, right? Someone's trying to steal my comics, they better have good insurance. <laughs> That's not what got. Okay, if you can make it, um, tomorrow we're having a break, no stream. We might do a stream actually. I might pop in here and put together a math um, summative exam because I want to have some exercise and solutions for some of the math content that we have. And um, I think it's time to put some exercises together and i've laid out the 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 format that i want the exam to be presented so i might do that tomorrow but i might do that on sunday as well because on sunday we're here to do a live stream of crystals and minerals so with this magnifying lens we're going to look at more crystals and mineral minerals under the magnifying lens but these ones are going to be my partners they're a lot nicer than the ones i had uh, well some of most of them anyway i have some nice ones too uh it was a great show awesome uh pope grimy uh aside from that we're gonna have 
Salvia, Chicho Salvia, the Moron Chronicles, and Personal Finance stream coming up later on this week or next week, anyway. Uh, so I think we got four more streams lined up. Those are the scheduled ones, and one math one I'm going to try to slip in there at some point. Okay. Aside from that, uh, thank you for being here, gang. Uh, thank you for all the feedback. If you want to know what this work is about, I'm on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C H Y C H O. If you want to support this work, if you want to follow this work, Patreon is a great way to do so. Okay. For those of you that were supporting this work on Patreon, thank you very much for the support, gang. And it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this. We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash chicho live, C H Y C H O L I V E. If you want to participate in the chat, which is here, boop, boop, Twitch is where you want to be at. And gang, thank you for the support on Twitch. Mods, thank you for taking care of business on Twitch and on Discord. And as Elder God just uh, did the command, you can come to our Twitch channel anytime you want and type an exclamation mark social and all the links to the social announcement sites, including the link to our Discord page will pop up. And we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live for the scheduled ones on Parlor, VK Minds, and Gab. Okay. And if you join our Discord page, and the link will be in the description of this video, you will get announcements that we've gone live on Twitch. And I do put in announcements uh, when we do upload to the video sharing platforms. We will be uploading the audio to these live streams where we don't have any visuals. Uh, to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chy chicho is a podcast and those should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes discord needs some sheriff department actually i think discord is discord is a funny discord is i love forums that's one thing i love about discord initially when i got on discord it was through a recommendation casey put us on there i didn't know what discord was and I, very quickly i found out it was just a forum and the internet was born on forums and it will die on forums right so forums are a great place to go get information and talk to people open open dialogue right so we were on this april uh, uh 2018 is that when we got on discord also so we've been on there three years now right so um it's a forum that we have where people are sharing a lot of information under the chicho umbrella i guess the sort of community that we've built here so i do appreciate the discussion there and i do share a fair bit of information there uh, as well and we will be uploading this live stream to sensor tube to bitchute and to rumble and at some point when we get enough points to odyssey and if you're on those platforms you can support this work by liking sharing subscribing and if you're on SensorTube, you can support this work by joining SensorTube membership, and there's a button down there that uh, you can join. There's a handful of you have supporting this work through SensorTube memberships. Thank you very much for the support, gang. Dang, gang, if you can make it, I'll see you guys in two days for crystals and minerals, possibly tomorrow for mathematics, maybe in the next couple of days. I hope you have a fantastic, today's what? Friday. I hope you have a fantastic Friday. Bye, everyone.